flags fly at half mast at the home of the Al Azhari family. For them, the thought of a divided Sudan is very personal. Ismail Al Azhari was leader when Sudan gained independence from British rule. Jala is his youngest daughter. She says a vote for suppression would be an insult to the heroes of their country's independence movement. Now, instead of building it, we are subdividing it. This is our sadness. It comes from, from this particular point. We are telling them that we are sorry. We have not kept the promise. Jala is also worried about the effect on the entire country. We never know. Maybe next Darfur, maybe next the east, the, the, the northern part, you never know. So this is, this problem is going to ex increase. Ismail al-Azhari led Sudan between 1953 and 1956. He returned as president in 1965 to 1969 when a military coup ended his political life. He died a little later. Since 1956, there's always been a flag on top of the residence of the family of Sudan's founding president, Ismail al-Azhari, and only on rare occasions has it been flown at half-mast. But this time round, the family says that the flag won't be raised until the end of July, when the transitional period after the referendum comes to an end. The al-Azhari family's home is always teeming with visitors, young and old, eager to pay their respects. His children are taught about their country's history as they are shown around the former president's compound. Their teachers understand too well that for these children, the future could be very different. Mohammed Adou Al Jazeera, Khartoum, Sudan.